Asthma can get serious, fast, sometimes when you least expect it. Sadly, asthma kills children in Canada every year. Every one of these deaths can be prevented. The good news is, we learn more about asthma every day and know that children with asthma can live healthy, active lives. I just found out I have asthma. What is it? Asthma is common. In Canada, more than 1 in 10 children have asthma. Asthma affects people of all ages and ethnic backgrounds. Asthma is a chronic lung disease, which means that children with asthma can have it for many years or even their entire life. Asthma affects the lungs' small airways or tubes that carry air in and out of the lungs. Asthma causes the muscles in and around the airways to tighten up and also causes the lining of the airways to become swollen. This tightness and swelling makes the airways narrow, making it hard to breathe. On top of this, asthma also causes mucus to form in the airways, which makes it even harder to move air in and out of the lungs. Is that why I have trouble breathing sometimes? Absolutely! When someone is having an asthma attack, or if their asthma is getting worse, they may wheeze, cough, or have trouble catching their breath. They might breathe faster than normal, or have little energy and not want to eat, drink, play or be active. During an asthma attack, you might notice that the skin at the base of the neck, above the collarbones, and between the ribs pull in with each breath. There might also be increased movement of the tummy as it becomes harder to breathe. If you notice a change in color, a blueness, of lips, nails, inside of the mouth, or skin around the mouth, call 911 right away. Children sometimes have their own unique way of telling us how their asthma symptoms feel. And sometimes asthma symptoms may not be so obvious or what you might expect. Asthma can cause children to seem like they have a cough or cold that just won't go away. They might keep coughing during the night early in the morning or while playing, or they might not want to play, exercise, or be active at all. It is important to recognize asthma symptoms early, as this may prevent a severe or even life-threatening attack. Young children may have asthma-like symptoms, such as wheezing when they have a cold, and asthma medications may be prescribed to relieve these symptoms but it's often too early to know whether or not they actually have asthma. The goal for treatment is for all children to have their asthma under control. When asthma is under control, children miss school less often and are able to enjoy their playtime and physical activities. They will have no symptoms during the night and may only have the occasional symptom during the day. They should rarely need to use their reliever or blue inhaler and are able to avoid emergency room visits and hospitalizations. In fact, when a child no longer has symptoms, the asthma hasn't gone away. It means that the asthma is well controlled. So, what can we do to control asthma? There are three main ways we can help keep asthma under control. First, know your child's asthma triggers and avoid them as much as possible. Second, give your child their asthma medications as prescribed. And third, make sure your child has an asthma action plan to follow. It sounds like asthma triggers are important, but what are they? Triggers are things that bother the airways and start or trigger symptoms in people who have asthma. There are many different kinds of triggers and everyone with asthma has certain things that make their asthma worse. Knowing what these triggers are and avoiding them as much as possible is a very important part of controlling asthma. How do medications help asthma? Most people with asthma need two types of inhalers or puffers, a controller inhaler and a reliever inhaler. The controller inhaler, also called a preventer inhaler, is taken to help decrease swelling in the airways and reduce the lungs reaction to triggers. When taken regularly as prescribed, it plays a very important role in keeping asthma under control. Some parents have concerns about the controller inhaler because it is a corticosteroid, or steroid for short. This medication has been well studied in children and is safe when properly prescribed and monitored. And, because it is inhaled, 
The medication goes right to the airways, where it treats asthma without causing harmful side effects. My mom always tells me never to go anywhere without my blue puffer. Why is it so important? This is the reliever inhaler, the other type of inhaler used to treat asthma. Some call it an emergency or rescue inhaler, and it is almost always blue colored. It temporarily relieves asthma symptoms by relaxing tight airway muscles. It works quickly, but only lasts a few hours. It's very important for all caregivers, including coaches and teachers, to know that children with asthma need their reliever inhaler with them at all times, so it can be used when symptoms first occur. Why does my friend, who also has asthma, use a different puffer than I do? There are many inhalers that are used differently and come in different colors and shapes. Your healthcare providers will work with you to determine which inhalers are best for your child. When inhalers are used properly, the lungs receive the right amount of medicine to treat asthma. It's good to go over how your child's inhaler is used regularly with your healthcare provider. My friend has something called an asthma action plan. Should I have one too? Everyone who has asthma or takes asthma medications should have an asthma action plan. An action plan helps take the guesswork out of managing asthma. It outlines ways to keep your child's asthma well controlled, how to recognize when it's getting worse, and what to do. If your child doesn't have one, talk to your pharmacist, doctor, or other healthcare provider about creating a personal action plan. It's good to review this plan regularly with your healthcare provider and share it with other caregivers, teachers, and coaches. Can you tell me again what we need to know about controlling asthma? To help keep asthma under control, know and avoid your child's asthma triggers, recognize your child's asthma symptoms and when they're getting worse, understand when and how to give the asthma medications, and have an asthma action plan to follow. All children with asthma can live healthy, active lives. Together, we can control asthma. To see this video again and visit a website with lots of tips, videos, and information about asthma, search I Can Control Asthma.